It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Let's go over to what happened at uh, Cape Town Fashion Week. And there's a whole new movement that is taking the world of by storm. It is called the rise of street style. And it's a trend definitely not to be denied. It's part sports luxe, part urban ease. And this relaxed look is as edgy as it is athletic. We chatted to some local designers about the power of the movement. <laughs> I think you have like uh, a few designers who are doing street style very well and uh, on a uh, very high level. I really like uh, Adrian uh, Cutters and the other one was Craig Native. They are focusing on something different and building something that can really stand in all the shows here in uh, Cape Town. Keith Henning and Jody Paulson were inspired by contemporary art and freedom of movement for their Adrian Cater's label this spring. For the stoneworks, those were collages that were really inspired by the work of Hans Arp, who is a Dada artist who makes chance art collages. Together we went to the scratch patch and we picked stones that we liked and we literally put them on t-shirts. The stones that were uniform, they became works in themselves. The loose fits, the freedom, it's all like Japanese inspired, easy to wear, easy flow. We really tried to explore deconstruction for the first time. This is why we made those kimonos that sort of look like t-shirts, but they're all coming apart, unraveling. We like to look at the, the menswear, which do actually have a little bit of a feminine feeling to them, and then just translate it into like a unisex type of feel. Modern street style is a blend of sports apparel and athletic leisure wear. The distinction between the two often blurred. When it comes to sport, it's something that really unifies us. It's always been an inspiration all my life. I just think, you know, it's just fun. And also, we are a large country. We love recreation. So it just made complete sense to do something like this today. Paralympic swimmer Ahmad Asim symbolizes what fashion innovation is about, breaking barriers. Challenges were trying to understand the technicalities of sportswear. There's so much science in sportswear, to the weight of the fabric, to the way it's made, to how it breathes on your body. It was really a very interesting experience for me and it was also a lot of fun because, you know, a lot of colour in my range, I got to play a lot of artwork. Every single print you saw in a collection was literally homemade. Durban designer Lee Schubert has always designed for femininity, but this season her feminine silhouette had a sporty masculine counterpart. I term the collection non-seasonal. I don't want to sort of fit into a season. And then bringing in the menswear, which is a, a new step for me. I didn't want to, to specify a body type. So it's, it's sexy, wearable, accessible garments that are flattering to a body regardless of the shape. Tall, short, big or small, it works um, and it's flattering. The main part of it is comfort. So when you start sort of, you know, styling sneakers into evening wear, it gives it a whole a whole new angle. And I think that people are, are dressing for themselves and sneakers, you know, sportiness added to, to my sort of signature classic. It's like a whole mashup. If you're into sneakers and functional fashion, street style is a movement worth following. It certainly is. While well, you might have noticed the model with a prosthetic leg on Craig Native's catwalk, well, that's actually South African Paralympic swimmer Ahmad Hassim. Absolutely. Now, known as Shark Boy, Hassim actually lost uh, uh, part of his leg in a shark attack in Musenberg in 2000, 2006, yeah, yeah, when he was actually training for his uh, life-saving exams. Now, designer Native said that people like Hassim inspire him because uh, they broke barriers and showed people that, uh, you know, what was possible. Now, Hassim won a gold medal at the 2012 Paralympic Games and recently qualified for the 2016 Paralympics in Rio. How cool is that? Yeah. I mean, swimming the 100-meter butterfly in 59 seconds. That's seriously inspiring stuff, I eh? I know, hey, not letting anything in your life hold you back. Well, a tweet is an interesting thing. Taken out of context, it may have a totally different meaning. Here is Kat with something that will put a smile on your face. <laughs> 